Hey guys, it's Denny. Wow, I have a special episode for you guys today. This one is gonna be one of my favorite pieces of content, and it's primarily because I got coached by Tai Zen. I got coached by the oracle of cryptocurrency, Tai Zen, and I feel really appreciative and thankful. And I even went the extra mile into putting it into a presentation for you guys, just because Tai Zen on the coaching call just shared one of the best pieces of information that I've heard, you know, in a long time. And the way he presented it to me was amazing. So uh, here you go. So this just happened, guys. I just got off the phone with Ty. I offered to help him thinking that I could give him value, but I ended up realizing that the approach that I used to talk to him, to you know, give him value, was actually extracting value from him and his time, which was actually a really big rookie mistake. I didn't really fully understand why, so you know, Ty explained more you know, into the story, and he started sharing me um, the principle behind uh, giving value versus extracting value. What I'm about to share with you is exactly what Ty, Ty just shared with me right now. I learned that this will literally save me decades of time and be the reason that I make life-changing finances. And I hope you guys do the same thing too. So Ty also inspired me to, you know, vlog for you guys and share with you guys, you know, what I learned. So here you guys go. Enjoy. I called it the teachings of Tai Zen, <laughs> number one. I called it, or he called it, giving value versus extracting value. Um, and the extraordinary question to begin with is, how do you approach someone way more successful and rich than you? That's a really good question. And the extraordinary answer is, you give them so much value that they can't ignore you. I freaking love that. You give them so much value that they can't ignore you. And I wrote here, I think of my favorite music artist and how they've always produced more good music year after year without me ever spending money. I just keep hearing more songs from them. I keep loving them even more and more. I like hip hop, so I like a lot of hip hop artists. And you know, I've never bought any of their albums, but I still continue, you know, get so much content and so much value from them you know through youtube and through the music that they produce so that's how you do it you give them so much value that they can't ignore you how to start you ask yourself i ask myself right what are they doing that i can do better faster cheaper and easier and then i figure that out and then i just do it and uh, a great example um is being able to produce how to set up cryptocurrency wallet tutorials for the top 10 coins in three days when it could have taken them one or two weeks to do. Uh, a common mistake that Ty shared with me, the first one is um, people are asking for a reward when they haven't even done anything. I haven't even done anything. And the solution he presented was to first create the value, second, give it to your customer up front, and three, just say, if you don't like it, you know, I'll change it for you. I love that. A common mistake number two is asking for help actually extracts valuable time from rich people, which they can't get back. Wow. And remember, time is the most important asset. The solution to that is to approach people who I want to give my value to and, and just say, I made... 12 videos for you on how to set up a digital wallet for the top 12 cryptocurrencies. I sent it to you. You want me to make the next 24? And this was actually the biggest aha moment for me because I realized that it's when you do the approach this way, by giving value upfront first, it makes it impossible to actually extract value from them. Uh, so that was a really big tip for me. Thank you, Ty. I really appreciate that. A common mistake number three that Ty shared was that many people ask for help and receive it and never end up doing anything. 
I've mastered this mistake with countless mentors, so I know exactly what Tai is talking about when he says that people never end up doing anything. And the solution to that is just to take more action than the next guy. Uh, Tony Robbins says um, massive action is the cure-all. Um, I just went to a Tony Robbins event recently. But yeah, that's his biggest, you know, one of his biggest pieces of information right there, which matches up with Ty, is just take more action than the next guy. Uh, case study number one. Um, so Ty shared this with me, but he said when he started his YouTube channel three years ago, he gave value first by creating 22 videos about the next project. Okay, I actually went to his channel, I counted how many videos he, you know, made for Next, and it was 22. So he made 22 videos, and soon everyone from the Next community reached out to him, and they gave him feedback on his videos, which is a win, and they ended up donating Next coins to him, which he did not expect. And then three years later, which is today, those same Next coins, those donations, actually can buy him a house now which is amazing. So kudos to you, Tai, for doing that. Tai Zen's mistake. Ooh, this is one of my favorites. Listen up to this one. He was talking to me. He was saying, when I was younger, I made the same mistake of extracting value from people more successful than I over and over again. I wish I was in your position, Denny, at the age of 27 and applied the, uh, the principle of giving value versus extracting value because nobody Nobody, nobody told me. And he continues, if I learn this exact piece of information when I was in my 30s versus my 40s, he would have made so much more money. He would have saved decades. He would have made life-changing finances 10 years earlier just by giving more value, massive value up front first. And this was a big aha for me too. So I really do thank you for this one story that you shared with me too, Ty. And uh, how do I feel now? Well, I am inspired to take massive and immediate action in this cryptocurrency investing space. And I aspire to be honorable, legendary, a grandmaster, world renowned like leonfu.com and even Ty Zen. Those are big ambitions of mine, but it's something I aspire to be. And I really think it's a worthwhile you know, ambition. And uh, I really am thankful, you know, for the high-level high mentorship that Ty, you know, gave me just now. I mean, <laughs> he's like one of, you, Ty, you're one of the best in this space. And, you know, the fact that you gave me your time, you're absolutely right. I was extracting, you know, your valuable time from you. And I do, I do want to give so much value back, you know, which leads to my third point right here, which is, you know, I'm so eager to add so much value up front to the cryptocurrency market team and just to the space and ultimately to, you know, make life changing money. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. A big, big shout out to LeonFu.com, the honorable, legendary, grandmaster, world renowned LeonFu.com. You are amazing. Thank you so much for helping so many people make life changing money along with you. So pound that like button if you like these videos. If you don't, I promise I won't get sad. I want to know and subscribe to the Cryptocurrency Market channel. I swear these are one of the best, if not the best channel on cryptocurrency investing that's available on YouTube or anywhere. So please subscribe. I really love this channel. I swear I keep up with every single video. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much. I uh, appreciate you guys. I hope you guys got as much value as I did at the end of the day. Just give value first. Give massive value to the community and everything will work out from there. So thank you guys. Peace out.